Welcome back. Um, I've got a quick dinner to make for my daughter who's going out tonight. Uh, she wants pesto pasta. Now I could make pesto, I know how, but also Imperfect Foods delivers this once a week. So I've got a little squeezy thing of pesto. So now you're probably thinking, I can do pesto, I can make pesto. I can just squeeze a little thing into the thing and the stuff and it looks all good and normal. Well, yes, you totally can. But there's a really great technique you can use to incorporate the pesto when the fire is off, but you've got a pan sauce going on the noodles already that's like an emulsification of the pasta water and some olive oil in the pan. The noodles are already coated with some flavor and stuff like that, and then you just generously apply some of the pesto to it. And from here we can add in chicken or we can add in tomatoes. We have cherry tomatoes on the back porch. Uh, you could just drop the, cut those in half and drop those into it. Uh, they'll just warm right through and that'll be a really colorful kind of Italian flag sort of thing. I'm going to use uh, a protein spaghetti because she's gonna have chicken with it. So right here we've got some extra virgin olive oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this and just pour a splash, a couple glugs into the pan. The water is now coming to a boil. Check out with our GoPro. So we've got that coming to a boil and we're just gonna throw the noodles in here. This is gonna be about four servings. Now, a couple ways we can cook this. You can break it. They'll tell you never to do that. Um, but I've got an Italian neighbor who breaks her noodles and uh, says, don't tell anyone I did this. I'm gonna leave them long. Maybe when I serve it to my daughter who doesn't love long noodles, like most people in my family, I can cut it up with a knife. I'm just gonna throw this in here. And as it starts to cook, it's gonna release the, the starches into the water. And we're gonna let that go. Um, I'll set a timer real quick for about five minutes. The package says seven to nine minutes. Uh, because I wanna do a whole pan sauce with it, I'm gonna stop it very short. I just want them to be able to, to move around and bend without breaking. This is foaming up pretty good. So it's releasing the starches into it. This is gonna be loosening up soon. So we're gonna take some of the starchy water. We're gonna put it right in here. So while the pasta is cooking, getting bendy and nice, this pan is gonna take the starch water with the olive oil and it's gonna start making an emulsification. So it's got a little bit of flavor in it because we added salt to the, to the pasta water. And now the pasta is cooking in one pan. We're cooking the pasta till it's just al dente. Then we're gonna have a pan sauce going in here. I'm actually turning up the fire quite a bit. So you can see it, it's gonna be boiling. Right now it smells in here like boiling olive oil, which is about what it's supposed to smell like. So the reason we wanna do this with something like a pesto, so um, with a marinara, with the tomato based sauce, you could just put it in this pan um, with the pasta water and your sauce and just start thickening it and getting it ready for the noodles. That is one way to do it. Pesto has a lot of cheese in it. And if you boil it down, the cheese is just gonna to stick to the bottom of the pan and it's gonna take the cheese, pull it out of the flavor of the pasta and then you're gonna to have to add more cheese later. So what I like to do is I like to get this to thicken up into a little bit of a pan sauce. And then as these noodles start getting bendy, 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 I can put them in here. But at the same time, I'm gonna keep putting some of this really starchy pasta water in. And what that does is when it mixes with the olive oil, you basically get an emulsified sauce. It's got salt, it's got fat, half the things we really want in terms of flavors. Salt, fat, sweet, sour, salt and fat. I mean, why do we love potato chips? They have salt and fat. Our body craves both of those things. So this is starting to get about how I want it. So it says I have one minute left on a five minute timer. I don't care. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna keep the pasta water going. So I've got more starchy water. I'm gonna bring it over. So my ladle is three fluid ounces at a time. I've got about nine fluid ounces in here so far. I've got it on a very high heat. Right now we're cooking down the noodles as well as creating a sauce out of the starchy water and the olive oil that's in here. Right now it's still very liquidy. You can see it. Um, it's got small bubbles, small fast bubbles. 
but as we keep turning it, the noodles are still, still al dente. So you can see where the bubbles are getting bigger. They're getting a little bit slower. So what this means is it's thickening up. So the beautiful thing about noodles is that they've got a built-in sauce. You just have to release it. And the way you release it is with some water and some oil. And then we just start mixing it in. You're tossing it around and you're just mixing it up because you've got this pan sauce already made uh, with the pasta itself, with the, the, the pasta water and you've got the, the oil and you've made this emulsification. It's already coating the noodles. So when you put the pesto in, it's just going to coat the noodles. It's going to join in and stick to that. And because you've got your fire off, you're not going to be melting your cheese all over the pan. And so all the flavor is going to go to the person eating the food. All right. So that's it. Let's grab a fork. Let's grab a fork and see what we've got. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Uh, there are different kinds of pesto. There's jarred pesto. There's the kind of pesto like this in the squeeze bag that you buy at the store. I get mine from Imperfect Foods. I get it delivered once a week or so. And I love it. I think it's great. Super handy to have around. Mix for a quick meal. For a dish like this that takes literally 12 minutes, uh, this is really great. So go cook something. Uh, go cook a pesto pasta on a weeknight or a weekend. Doesn't take long. You can buy the pesto, you can make pesto, whatever you want to do. But I like pesto pasta and it's really easy to make. So see you next time. Thanks.